Dan Vinovich has left the shores of Lake Clinton, and he shows us that all you really need is structure. Today we're out at uh, Clinton Lake, and we're gonna do something a little different than we normally do. Most fishermen that you see are out, they're generally fishing shorelines. And uh, today we're gonna do, we're looking for deep structure. Now here we're starting to see the piece of structure coming up. Now what this is, this is a baffle dike. It's a dike that runs down through the middle of the lake that actually keeps the water in if the main dam were to break. This looks almost like a levee running down the middle of the lake. What the fish do is they tend to get up on top of these baffle dikes the same way that uh, fish relate to a wing dam on a river system. But all kinds of species feed on this. We've caught crappies off of these dikes, uh, or baffle dikes. We've caught uh, walleyes. In fact, the other day I just had a big walleye off of here. Uh, hybrid white bass, white bass, just tons of fish relate to these types of structures. Another big cat. Oh man. <laughs> Good fish here, Ryan. He won't even. <laughs> Boy, I tell. Oh, if you, it thinks like I'm uh, trying to milk this fish out of here. I really can't put any more pressure than I, I am right now. We're looking, right now I'm using an 85 million module rod and uh, for the sensitivity, because we're working the deep structure. Yep, another big cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were looking for some walleyes and stuff, but I'll take these. The setup we're using today is we're trolling, it's called a crawler harness. Now these, uh, I make these, but the components come from Bait Rigs, a tackle company out of Wisconsin. What's nice about this, the clevis, I can change up at any time I want. And now I've got a green blade on here and I'm fishing again. So when you rig components like this, we're using two, I'm using two painted Eagle Claw hooks right here, just to add a little bit more color to it. It's a size number four hook, and that's all we're doing. Remember when you are trolling crawlers, though, that the crawler is actually gonna stretch out. So as he's winding up right off the bat, you don't want a hook. See, I've got a little loop right in here. This little loop is to allow for when you start pulling this crawler through the water, it stretches out. If he stretches out and you don't give him enough, the crawler gets a crimp in him, and what he does, he starts spinning. And that's not what you want. Now remember, the weight is dragging the bottom, and then we have the actual spinner, which is producing the vibration, and the crawler on there is the live bait. And we work these right along the bottom. Using our electric trolling motor, we're going off of one side and off of the other. He just, I can't stop him, Ryan, with this light line. He's that big. He's gone, he's just peeling. It's gotta be a hybrid. He's just walking off with it. Yep, big hybrid. Oh yeah, ha <laughs> ha! That's a nice hybrid. Boy, I better, look, I barely had him hooked. Now that's a dandy fish. You see how wide those fish are? They really take and use their bodies in the actual fight. They turn sideways on you. Oh, there he goes. He just peeled off about 18 to 25 feet of line. I mean, gone. Man, these fish are strong. You have to use light tackle in these situations because if you're not using the light tackle, your lures are too far behind the boat. I don't know if I can catch up to him or not. Oh, what a horse. <laughs> Clinton Lake is just unbelievable fishery. It's just outstanding. This one's probably closer to five or six, I bet. You know, they've got that beautiful iridescent color on it. Just the thick fish, very thick, very healthy. They're down here feeding on shad. The six. Look at that line peeling out of that reel. Man, these fish are strong. I mean, you can't budge them. <laughs> He's just emptying this pool. A lot of fun on six pound test. You know, and these fish do this all summer. They're going all summer. Oh, 
come here. Oh, <laughs> they're getting bigger. <laughs> that one wore me out. Oh, they're just dandy fish. Just beauties. Big, thick, fat fish. I just love the color in them. I don't know if you can see that, but the blue on the fins and stuff, boy, they are a ferocious feeder too, and they will hit. For those wishing to hire the services of Dan Vinovich, call 309-347-1728 or email him at trolling at mtco.com.